How's it going everybody? Ragroth here. So we're finally getting a look at Sindel Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, we had Terminator last month, and now we're getting Sindel. I'm pretty hyped for Sindel. Uh, I will say this, with regarding like characters like her and Nightwolf, there were characters that I would I like and would have wanted back. Admittedly, they're never really on a top 10 list of mine, like from way back when. Admittedly, those top 10 lists were kind of when I thought Netherrealm would have put in some more 3D era characters, and we saw how that turned out. <laughs> Um, but I am pretty hyped for Sindel, and I was really happy with, with Nightwolf and how he turned out as well. Um, but more of, you know, admittedly, I also would have liked to have Fujin before Sindel if I had to choose. But I know, you know, we, we need our female for the pack, and I'm um, Sindel is a fine choice. I uh, know the thing. There are pictures and things I've seen of her hinted. Um, I know she had the Banshee thing. Apparently, she has the staff from Deception. Oh, the, they can have ca weapons from three D character from three D games, but they can't have costumes or characters, um, which is cool. And it does seem like I think I have heard she does use her hair a little bit more. I've seen little impressions of her here and there, some uh, pictures. But um, but now I'm actually going to see the whole trailer. So let's check it out and not blow up my eardrums. This music's cool. I love that intro. Okay, so it's her versus Nightwolf. Makes sense. You kept me from destroying Earthrealm. My sacrifice saved the Magoka. Nothing Good. will save them now. I love her new voice. Her new voice is awesome. Okay. Okay, so she's got the low bow. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, shit. Nice. Okay, she's got the fluid kick. Sorry, there's class. No. Ooh. Oh, damn. She uses her hair a good amount. She's got the screams. Yeah, it's like a black canary kind of scream. There's this banshee thing. Oh, she uses to enhance her screams. Neat. Her living, her living alpha looks great as well. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Huh. Okay, the flippy kicks from MK9. Oh! Yeah, it's like her stand or something. Okay, she's got the low still. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Using that ass. Okay. Nice. That's a cool fatal blow. I do see what people use. They kind of reuse things, like some some of the hits at least. Oh! Oh! Nice! Nice! It's kind of like her old one where she screamed her skin off. It's like partially that. Nice. I'm, I'm actually... I was a little worried the direction they were going with there, but I'm actually really happy. November 26th, I'll get the 25th. Not too pleased with these costumes. Why do we... Why does Cassie... Ah, whatever. It's a cool outfit. I don't know. I don't see how that's classic Cassie. I don't understand what that means, but... Okay. Okay, so... I was pretty happy, but for the hell of it, let's watch it again. What? Let me watch it again. I do like that they acknowledge the stuff with her and Nightwolf and MK9. I feel like Nightwolf doesn't get credit for crap, but at least he kind of it's acknowledged that he's the one that beat her. I like her voice a lot more than the MK9 voice. Nothing will save them now. Both her outfits are great. I do wish. She um had the more more the makeup on, and like I do wish she didn't have the pupils. That that is, a, I don't know why they kind of seem to be going away from that. I love that she uses the hair and the spear together. I kind of thought they'd be like kind of like interchangeable, but oh man, I am so happy with how her and I will turned out. This music is sick too. Why is this music not in the game? I swear they picked like the coolest trailer music and it's not actually in the game. It's so much better than a lot of endgame music. That's cool. They're very ermac ish. Only thing is, can she fly? I. I gotta look again. I don't know if she could like move and fly. Hope she can. That'd be sick. 
There's the booty! <laughs> yeah, like, the, the, the way it's done it is cool. I think it's just the hits are very reused and plain. That's my only kind of criticism with that. I have really mixed feelings about her using the, the spear again, but I actually am... I like how the way she kind of mixes it together. I do kind of wish it just kind of she just screamed all the skin off, but I'm sure that that's probably gonna be a brutality. I'm betting. Oh yeah, I guess I might as well take a look at these other outfits. I don't really. I'm re I really wonder what's gonna come with Joker and Spawn. I feel like we already had, we had like multiple horror packs too. The Raiden one's kind of cool, I'll admit. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how she turned out. I, I was a little worried. I was a little worried. You know, not that I'm not worried. I was a little like thinking like I might not have liked some of it, but no, I like. I, this is definitely an evolution, like a really good mix of MK9 with a little bit of deception in there. Um, and even I guess evolved further. I love that she uses the hair more. That's great. I'm glad like this spear doesn't kind of take over her move set. Like I think it's cool. It's a cool weapon. I just it's like she's not someone that really needed it, but I think they I think the way they got her to do it was was good. That was fine. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pleased with her outfits. Again, would have liked if she had kind of was pupilless or whatever. Um, and I do wish they went a little harder on like the makeup, like that, like the kiss, whatever kind, of, whatever that kind of that sting eyeshadow she uses. But it is what it is. Maybe, maybe she doesn't some of the other outfits or something. I know I should also say this with Sindel. I know a lot of people are bummed about her retcon story, like how she, in, th in this game, she apparently was never brainwashed. She was always evil. I think she didn't actually love King Jared. She actually did love Shao Kahn. Apparently Quan Chi killed her or some crap like that. And I don't necessarily agree with the change, but at the end of the day, I care more about how this character looks and plays and all and what they can do and all that than their story. Especially because it's like generally I tend to prefer the villains anyway. Not to mention she's a DLC character, so it's not like we had to deal with this in the story mode anyway. It's not like she could have been playable in the story mode. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of, um, it doesn't really affect me that much. I mean, hopefully, and you know, they might even change it back in the next game she's in. You know, they change things a, lot, a bunch of times, especially for this game. But I think that's about it for this reaction video. I can't wait for her to come out. I guess let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about Sindel? Like the video if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. It's free country. Uh, don't forget to check out Mark Yoon in the description below. Don't forget to check out um, Mr. Anderson Plays Games in the description below. Yeah, I guess if, you, if you'd like to, check out my Patreon. Contribute a little bit if, you, if you'd like to. I'd give you a shout out if you will. I'm not begging for money. Just saying. Uh, and as I always say, another time, another place. Keep being awesome.